Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Listen, we done waited a long time uh, to get yeah. our show back. Yes, indeed. They did not come to play no games no, with they you did not. No, or they I did this not. season. No, Listen, they did not. Power book to ghosts. Ghost. Free will is never free. Huh? I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready for the end. Man. I was like, <laughs> Red yeah, Man? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when I seen him, I was like, you know, that took me all the way back to 1990 when I was in school, when I bought their freaking CDs, their cassette tapes. Man, I bumped some goddamn Wu-Tang Wu -Tang. Oh, in my car. Oh, Heck yeah, they was, it was one of my favorite rappers, man. Loved them, man. So we're happy to see you all if this is the only yeah, show yeah. you come over here for. Welcome back to the family. Yes, so we're going to get right on into it. Yes, indeed. Take it away, baby. Like the queen said, we back with another installment, another season of Power Book 2, Ghosts. Uh, we pretty much start back off the season where we left off last season, but Tariq is at his grandma house and he's li reliving the trauma of shooting Professor Jabari, which we know Ghost had pretty much warned him that once you pull that trigger, son, you cannot, take you cannot take it back. So while he going through all that, Yash yells out, Tariq, help me! She down in the kitchen trying to cook some breakfast for everybody to get ready to burn down burn the, the whole, whole house. house. But this what got me was when Grandma came out there, Grandma was like, ain't nothing wrong with that. She can cook on her own. Because was like, she shouldn't be cooking anyway. But, he was like, did you just see that she's trying yeah, to burn the house yeah. down? But she was like, you know, I've been cooking at this age. You know, all of us trying to yeah. cook at that age. And she was like, she ain't even fixed the bacon right. I like it extra, extra crispy. Not burnt up. And not burnt up. And... She was like, well, Tariq, what you doing here? She was like, Grandma. I stay here. I stay here last night, remember? 8 o'clock? I been here all overnight. She was like, oh, yeah. So you could tell that she was trying to yeah. play into it, but she really didn't remember. And I said, dude, she got dementia? Yeah, that's what I thought at first. But and, no. And Tariq was like, yes, have Grandma been drinking again? She said, yes. And you need to get me about it. It's yeah. getting worse. I she said, been, oh, say, God. See, this is what happens when the parents buck up. And the responsibility that yeah. the parents leave behind falls back on Big Mama. Big Mama them ain't got the nerves for that no more. Yeah. So she got to she got to drink. You know, this new <laughs> age people, they do opioids and all that stuff. Yeah. Old age, they drink. Yeah. Get a fifth. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So all throughout the freaking episode, we saw Tariq, you know, still trying to get in touch with Tasha because Tasha's in protective custody now. And he don't know where she at, so we seen in the episode that Tariq reached out to, uh, I'm going to say Method Man. Yeah. <laughs> and he trying to be all professional with all this stuff. Tariq was like, cut the bull. Can you find out where my mama's at? He said, that's not how this works. <laughs> like, none of it works the way that it is working. Where my mama at? <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't, to be honest, I didn't know that they hid that when they did that. The family don't know where you at either. I didn't That's know That's the that. purpose. Yeah, I did. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought, you know. No. They ain't fitting to hide you and don't let me know where you at. That's why you usually will go with. Well, well, anyway. <laughs> God darn it. So, we confused. So, Professor Jabari has been shot in the park. Somebody had to hear a gunshot. Somebody had to walk through the park in the day. You trying to tell me it's a whole 24 hours before they find out that he did? That's my part. I was like, that, come on now. I was now, like, Bible. what? So, yeah, that's our thing. It was like, why did it take so goddamn long? Ain't nobody see him? So, I was like, dang. <laughs> not realistic at all. Yeah, not realistic. So, as... So basically, we saw how it got out. That everybody started getting a whole bunch of texts. And Mama Tariq and Brayden was uh, walking, and they saw everybody was like, and Brayden was like, "Yo, yeah, yo, Professor is dead, yo, yo." <laughs> and Tariq, you know, he did it, so he, you know, he got to play it off like he ain't know nothing about it. Tariq is his dad all day. Yeah, oh. all day long. And of course, we knew that Monet was gonna look into that because she don't need no more heat. On the organization, because she already at the house paranoid. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, she was, so we heard the glass break. First thing, she go go for the pistol, come downstairs, you know, because they still shook from all this stuff. Like, man. She ready to shoot Drew again. Yeah. It's like, God darn it. Drew was like, like hey. I'm, I'm working with one arm here. Stuff yeah. might get broken in the process. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some slack. So... 
she summons Tariq to come to the house. Y'all remember he was talking to Kane because Kane was like, you know what, bro? You said that none of this skit was going to come back on me. You said that this is supposed to go back to Ramirez. Yes, yes. I always mess up his name, man. It's all right. And Tariq, like, you got to trust me. He was like, you better because I'm not going down for this. And Teresa said, well, we stopped talking about yeah, but, it. There's yeah. There's nothing to talk about. My thing with Kane, Kane was like, well, how is it that this man is all over the news? Tariq was like, do you know who he is? He is. Yeah, he's a professor. He's a professor. Of, yeah. At our college. Right. It's going to be everywhere. Exactly. And we already had a murder or a drowning at the yeah. school already. So right. Kane don't start tripping. What up, Woody? <laughs> <laughs> so Tariq goes over to the house. And, of course, he gets questioned down. And I was like, let's see how he can get out this one. Because I'm gonna admit, y'all, Tariq has like ever since last season, he been he been He's a he, professional liar. Yeah, he he his daddy. He ghosts. I mean, he really, I mean, he not ghost, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But he moves just like his daddy. He is really smart. And I actually thought that they was gonna crack him. I thought Diana was, knew. Yeah, Diana and Drew knew, yeah. Mm -hmm. But of course he couldn't he couldn't tell her that. But, I mean, he wanted to, but Kane was like, nah, you don't want yeah, Telling you don't her want the truth is bad. Yeah. Lying to her is it's bad. bad. <laughs> so, pick, what it, pick your poison. So, he convinced her. So, y'all remember early in the episode that Diane and her was at this some place, and they had all these Prada bags, Fendi, and all these name brands, and they were putting the weight in the bags. And so, we saw mm -hmm. that they put the weight in the car, and... Monet had went somewhere, and then she came back out, and she saw the police had Diana pulled over and talking to her. And, and I was like, oh, no. Yeah, she was like, oh, no, we, you know. <laughs> so she she went to draw her gun. I was like, dumb. I was like, what you, dumb. What you doing? Dumb. It ain't even got to that yet. And, of course, when she got to the truck, Diana was like, hey, Ma, I did, you know, I did what you told me to do. I gave him a little charm, a little tick -tick. The little, the lot, a whole lot of flirting, and I made him think he was going to get some. Boom. But but did y'all see the fur run right though? Oh yeah. Did you see the fur? Yeah yeah. Peter ain't gonna like it, but I love it. <laughs> I said, Brother Jake can wear a fur and some boots. And, and you boots. Hear? yeah man. You hear? Yeah. <laughs> she was I'm, in so, I, I'm sorry, day. baby, but Mary J is a sexual woman, man. She is sexy. Oh yeah, buddy. It would take an ugly person to say she ain't. <laughs> uh huh. She be doing her thing. Mm, always have. Yep. Oh. Uh, since we since we on to read, I'm gonna talk. But y'all remember Brayden invited him to this little thing. I guess we would say a dinner that Brayden didn't want to go to because his father had this some kind of traditional thing to put together. And we saw he gave him a Mercedes, and they had to go hunting in the woods. So when I heard hunting, I was like, I'm, "You going out there with all the money?" Like, yeah, bro, you shouldn't be. <laughs> you shouldn't be on that, bro. So say take your take your uncles and stuff with you. Yeah. So. <laughs> They basically, you know, Tariq went to the went to the dinner, and I'm just so glad mm. that he busted up that got darn uncle. uncle. You know, you know how they be doing it. Talking it, about basically the only reason you at Stanford because we gave you the opportunity. Was you're the true. charity case. Yeah, but kind of true because it came in true, true. But but he would he he could have done that on his own. Right, right. And, and that's what Tariq burst his bubble Bust. about. And I hate that for us because every time we're in great spaces, mm -hmm. they think that it was some kind of charity that got us there. Not right. that we didn't have the right, the money, or the no to yeah. get there. <laughs> I hate that. Yeah, so I'm so glad he got him. He was like, yeah. And he and, and, well, with a one-liner. So uh, what interest do you have with Big Pharma? He said, <coughs> yeah. Uh huh. And when he busted him up about that drug thing, that's yeah. what I said. Yeah, because it's true. Because it the, the, the illegal drugs kill more people than the illegal drugs. No, the I mean, illegal. the 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 the, the, the yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. The legal stuff kill people more than the than the legal stuff. Yeah, but I don't, people, I don't know how I got that wrong. But anyway, y'all yeah. know what it is. Legal kills more than illegal. Right. So Tariq finally goes in the woods, and so they took a shot at the deer, and Braden was like, "Hey, we got to go after it." And I had to wind it back because I was I like, I said, I said, did this, did this, did this fool take a shot at Tariq? He so, did. So, because I had to wind it back to make sure that he didn't take another shot at the deer. I was like, oh De yeah. Deer gone. Deer is gone. But Tariq is so in PTSD from shooting Jabari, he ain't even putting two and two together, in my opinion. 
He did miss it, in yeah, my opinion, yeah, he, but not really. Yeah, so because he was like, you know, he was, they told him, said, you can go ahead and take the kill shot. You know, so the first thing he flashed back to was when he shot his daddy to kill shot and, and then killed to, uh, Professor Barber to kill shot. So he's out of it right now. So He said, I'm out of here with this BS. Yeah, this BS. So Braden did it. Yeah. So yeah, I, what y'all think? Uh, yeah, he took a shot at Tariq. They tried to they tried oh, yeah. to mow it over and act like it wasn't the case, but yeah. And the and the daddy <clears throat> knew that the uncle took a shot at Tariq. Yeah. That's why he told him, said, just for this, let me go ahead and let you take the kill shot. And Braden was like, This is some BS, right? Yeah. Now. So he knew it. So back to uh Professor we go with Professor Ingram. Uh yeah. Carrie. <laughs> So she was walking down the street talking to her. Well, she was leaving the voicemail to her friend, y'all saw. And she was like, I'm over Zeke. I'm 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 over oh, Jabari. Jabari. You know, you know, you know, I'm I'm meeting up with this detective. We go way back. We used to kick got it. Chemistry. You know, we got chemistry and all this, you know. But this time, we're gonna take it slow. I'm like, you making up all this over a phone call? But and that's the longest voice <laughs> yeah. I've heard in my yeah. life. So she got all this going through her head, and so she walks up, detective come. And she was like, okay, so we should we go in and, you know, just have dinner? He was like, no, we got to go two blocks away. When he said that, because when I first saw him, I said, first he looks like a detective, but she did say it was a detective. Mm -hmm. And I was like, when he said, I want to take you somewhere else, I was like, hmm. I said, this what? is a setup. And so when they walked in the place, I was like, where in the heck is they going with this kind of dim light? She going to take him, take her straight and, and, and to the body and just, like, you know him? That's like, insensitive that's like, as don't, hell. Don't, don't take me up on a body, man, no, and don't give me no warning. Body. A whole body? Nah. Mm -mm. That's why I don't go to funeral homes now, because I'm afraid I'm going to walk up on a body. For real. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got to be I got to be prepared. You have to, you got to set the expectation. I'm getting ready to take you in this building, <laughs> and I'm getting ready to show you a body. You ain't got to tell me who it is. Just let me know it's a dead body in there so I can be ready. That's all I had. I'm laughing because you remember what happened to us when my uncle died and we went to the funeral home and we all was playing at my uncle's funeral. <laughs> it's not funny because I Lord, I miss my uncle. But so we're sitting there and the funeral director was like, okay, go around and pick out the caskets so you can figure out which one you want. And all of the caskets were closed. So she was like, yeah, just lift them up and you'll be able to see what the inside fabric looked like. So we're lifting them up, looking at, lifting them up, looking at. And the last one we got to, they was like, oh, no, 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 no. no Mr. It's, such it's, and such is in there. Yeah. <laughs> and you were this close to opening up. Yeah, I forgot all about that. <laughs> Dang. I said, do you know I would have shut your, your oh, yeah. place oh, yeah. you down? Oh, you would have flipped that whole casket over, man. And the bad thing about it is I know who he was. <laughs> do you know that I would have flipped this place? That's what, that's what. Man. <laughs> so, this chain of events spin all the way down to Zeke coming over her house to check on him because she found he found out uh, about the Jabari. about Jabari being killed. So when he got over her house, she is just so out of it that she's so hurt she do anything right now. So I she I don't know. Do it anyway. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, she do that. I was gonna try to give her a pass. She was gonna do it anyway. <laughs> but they got their thing on, and so the first thing she asked Zeke was, "Did your family do this?" He was like, "No, nah, my family would never do that." No, I, I ain't do it. Yeah. <laughs> My family would never do that. My family would never do that because my family would never jeopardize my opportunity. <laughs> you don't know your family. Yeah. <laughs> Which segue, we're gonna talk about this. And cause this really pissed really pissed me off right here. Was when Monet was talking to mm. Drew and Diana mm. about I gotta move to be that's gonna get us out the business. And it was like, oh what yeah? Was that? What's that? Ready? Yeah, I mean. You know, so what well, Diana was like, so was that because Drew got shot? She's she was like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, bet, 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 bet. Let's get him out. Zeke got to go for the draft this year. Zeke got to go to the NBA, and we're going to follow him everywhere he go. And it was like. So Zeke is our new product? Something like, yeah. <laughs> so I I, yeah. I hate that you put the responsibility on one on person's him. success for your whole family to yeah. live. And you didn't even ask him if he wanted to do that. Real fast. That's a lot of freaking pressure to have on you, man. 
And we see they she ain't for the number one, that she wanted. Because number one, he's not supposed to know that they're in the business. Right. But he know. But he know. And number two, because all the stuff that went down. I agree. So when your leg almost got shot off, you know. And number two, did he ever say that he wanted to share the money with the family? <laughs> It's well, just well. She said she gonna be the man. Man, man, yeah, just like yeah. Drew gonna go on the road. Like the NBA, yeah, the like hose. the NBA is gonna turn all that skit over to y'all. They, they got buddy. people in place for that. <laughs> not, not after both they get to them, they won't. Lord, man, that is a lot to put on one person. Yeah, and it's I not um fair. I read a um a post that um T Pain had put on Facebook yesterday. He said when you have money and when things go wrong. People say, oh, you should have kept your money. But if you keep your money and you see people struggling, they be like, you should have given me the money. money. Yep. He said, so which one is it? Yep. Which one do you want to benefit from? Me keeping my money or me spending my money? Because either way, you're not satisfied. <laughs> I said, you know, you got a good dad going point on that one. Bro. Yeah, good point. And so late on the episode, we saw Diana and Drew talking. And Drew was like, you know what? I, I, because y'all know he pissed off at Monet for for yes. all of us. Yeah, for him getting shot. <laughs> I mean, I would. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he was like, I, 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 I don't want to be Zeke's B, and and I'm with you. And he said, matter of fact, you know what? We need to start making our own no moves. moves, make our own decisions. Don't that feel so, good that we yeah. actually write our own destiny? Yeah. Diana was like, you know, it would feel good. I felt so bad for Diana when she was trying on that outfit and she thought she was the hottest thing ever. <laughs> she got the body for it. She should be wearing that. But, Monet hey, looked hey. at her and said, oh, hell no. I said, now, Diana, look at how Monet dressed and the way you came out there and presented yourself. Did you think in a million uh -huh. years nah, that she was going to go like for that. it? Didn't matter how good you looked at it. Yeah. Two different styles. It wasn't going down like uh -uh. that. No, no, no. So, we... Uh, Y'all might have to help us with this one. Um, this dude that Kane was running with. Yes. I, I was trying to put it together. Maybe maybe the story hasn't fully unfolded. You know, y'all know something. But Kane was running around basically, you know, trying to up this guy's A the whole episode trying to prove himself that he can be in the business. And then he found found the, the weight in, in the plane. But I thought that was the reason that they was together because of the weight and... I don't know. The guy don't trust him, and then at the towards the end of the episode, he's stalking. He stalking Kane. So I was like, "What? What the heck is going on?" In my mind, I was like, "I think that they're trying to hook up with him because he is a distro, but at the same time, trying to prove that they're loyal enough to be brought in." But it's all over the place for me. It's all over the place. Yeah. I, so I. And I guess we, I'm tired. Yes, yeah, so I guess we have to stick around. Stick around for that part because we know already that Kane. Is doing his own thing because Monet put him out because he got big headed from last season. So we already know that. So yeah, so I guess we got to keep on keep on looking at that. Mm -hmm. But uh, that, I I can't I I I can't wait no longer. I got to talk about when when <laughs> Method went to the prison, and I, they, they they shocked me when I saw Red Man. I was like, come on, man. I and, looked at that. I was like, I know you. Oh, I say, I know you effing lying. Huh? <laughs> I know you effing lying. It ain't what you want, baby. It's what you need. Satisfaction, Gary. Oh, oh, I, yeah, we went away. Yeah. That's, I that's my too. dogs, man. Listen, I love them two together. I mean, yeah. you really can't see one without the other. So and it was just fitting that at some yeah. point, yes. boom, Gotta, <laughs> they had to be together. Because the last time I... I um, the movie that I like him in the most was How High. <laughs> Why did I know we were they, going there? They did that skit, man. So. Hell me too. So, I'm trying to figure out, though. He was like, I'm going to get you out of here, bro. He was like, how you going to do that? He was like, I got this dude named Sax. When he said Sax, I said Sax? He going to blackmail him. The F up? up? He going <laughs> to blackmail him to do it. He going to figure out a way to F it up. And then some kind of way it's going to happen. I he, know it's going to happen. So he was like. Have I ever lied to you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. A lot. He said, but not on this one, bro. But he was asking him, have you been taking your medicine and stuff? I'm like, what's going on with yeah, it? Yeah, what's like, up? Yeah, what's yeah, what, what, what's happening No one up in there, man? So head? are we in the, you know, are we fighting against the clock here? I mean, we all are in essence. Right. But are we fighting against... Because he like sick. Yeah, like sick, sick, sick. Because he was like, I can't let you stay in here forever. So and if, I guess he did something to get life. Yeah, so I guess he got a body on his belt. 
Well, he said, he said, I can't yeah. let you die in here. So that could mean whatever he's taking that medicine for. Uh, yeah, true. Is the reason that he knows that he will die in there if he don't get out. I don't true. know. True. And so that leads us, you know, to the end of the episode where Tariq was. You like, need a WD-40 yeah, again. <laughs> Tariq is, uh get a call on the burner and I actually thought it was going to be Tasha because sure you know he been texting her all episode I was like okay she about ready to come through and guess who on the other side of the phone the detective that took care of it to, to identify the body but the good thing is is that a burner phone you know there's no names attached to it so hopefully that don't get back to Tariq but, but that's going to gonna bring the cops back to the college yeah to, but here's the thing with Tariq and his phone. He's attached to this phone because that's the only means he has to get in touch with his mother. Oh, So he's yeah, not going to yeah. get rid of the phone. Yeah. yeah. Dang. So he's going to have this phone somewhere in his possession, in his room or somewhere. That's what's going to hang his hot pot up. Oh, he's going to think of a way to get out of it, though. I mean, he, yeah, he, got, well, he ain't got no choice, man. Buried it in the ground or something. God darn. But... but yeah, this this was another great episode of Power. I enjoyed it. I hope y'all oh, enjoyed yeah. it too. As always, the acting is on point. The writing, the was killing on is point. on point. I yeah, said, killing oh, my, is always gonna be on point. My PTA, <laughs> listen, we did not do BMF because I was like, I can't take people being shot right now. I just yeah, can't. Because you had just lost. I just lost, lost my friend, friend to yeah. gun violence. This right here, I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna be all right though. Yeah, I'm gonna be all right. So y'all get down in the comments, man. Don't forget to hit smash that like button. And also, get down in the comments. Let us know what y'all think about the episode tonight. Straight from the VA. Dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down. Holla. Boo.